Good morning, vlog fam. We are coming to you live from the kitchen. <laughs> it's not really live. We are doing Q&A week this week. And so we're gonna do the first round of questions right now. And uh, we're not gonna spend too much time on each question because there's a lot of questions. And we wanna try to get through as many as possible. So we're sorry if we didn't answer your question today, but maybe if you ask a question again, we'll get to it. I don't know. Okay, first question comes from? Brianna Dono, 11. When is everybody's birthdays? My birthday is April 8th. Mine's December 27th, or 29th. <laughs> His birthday is tomorrow, actually. No, I just have December 27th in my mind because I just wrote something down on December 27th. So if you're <laughs> watching this, wish Chris a happy birthday because his birthday is tomorrow. tomorrow. How old are you turning? 37. Ben is December 22nd. He just had his birthday last week. Mia's April 29th, and Joel is Valentine's Day. How was your Christmas? Christmas was good. Do the kids play any instruments? This question comes from... Ava Lee, Ava Lee Ann. Yeah. Um, ben plays guitar and drums, but um, Mia doesn't currently play any instruments. She would like to learn piano, and Joel does like playing the drums, so I'm sure he'd like to do that one day too. He plays his vocal cords. Next question comes from Shay... Shayna Morphy. Okay. <laughs> what was everyone's favorite Christmas gift? Oh. I just asked the kids this at dinner last night. Mia said her favorite was her dentist Barbie. Oh. Ben said his favorite was his snowboard. Joel said his favorite was his police truck. And Chris and I didn't exchange gifts, um, but my mom gave me some of my favorite chocolates, and my, <laughs> my sister-in-law gave me some cool fair trade gifts, which was neat. What about you? I got some knives, which are pretty cool. <laughs> that sounds creepy. Okay, Kaylee Davey, do you, Shelly, wear any makeup? If so, <laughs> what? Um, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I and I'm not a big makeup person, but I just wear enough to like make it so I'm not like tired and haggard looking. <laughs> so just a little bit, a little bit of mascara, lip gloss, concealer, that's about it. Um, Kaylee asked what our testimonies were. You know what, we'll answer those in another Separate video because I think it would just be too long. <laughs> <laughs> but great question, and we, yeah. we got a couple people ask that actually, so we should, we're okay. gonna definitely answer that. Aaron Chapman, 46. What are some of your family's holiday traditions? We usually bake, yeah. bake a lot. We go on Christmas light drives. Yeah. We, what else do we do? We eat. <laughs> we, we get together with our family. Yeah, just we don't have any like serious holiday traditions. We just like to Lots of family time. hang out, do family things, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Haley Davy again. Where would you guys adopt? Want to adopt from country wise? Um, I've always said I wanted to adopt domestically, so I would love to adopt from Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. Kaz HD. On a scale from one to ten, one being the least, how much do you guys enjoy vlogging? You go first. Ten. <laughs> I'm more like a seven. Whoa! Because Chris is more uh, in front of the camera person, but I do enjoy it. Regan and Olive, where is your favorite vacation to go? Um, my favorite vacation is probably just our vacation to Florida that we do um, try to do every year, which is in Anna Maria Island. Um, but I really loved when we went to Yosemite in California as well. Yeah. Regan and all again, once you guys get enough subscribers, will you, will you do a meet and greet? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Question? I don't know. I'm good in small groups. I don't know how I would do in like a big meet and greet group. I'm quite introverted, so. but Chris would probably love it. Kaylee Bates, if you guys could have any pet, what would it be? It would be a dog, and we already have a dog, but we'd love to get another dog. And I mean, like a horse would be really cool. <laughs> Um, Addy. Mm, Addy May. Addy May. Um, how old are y'all? Chris is turning 37 tomorrow. I'm 33. Ben is 10. 10. Mia is 7. And Joel is 3. Superstarly54. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? I think we've answered this question before, but basically we said we definitely give some of it, a lot of it away. Um, We'd also probably, in, I don't know, invest some of it and maybe use some of it. To buy a drone. <laughs> to buy a drone. <laughs> Superstarly54 also asks, if you could go anywhere in the world, 
where would you go? And she asked if we knew where New Zealand was because that's where she's from. She said, I love you guys, which is nice. Yeah. Love you too. Um, I do know where New Zealand is. I've been to Australia, so it's fairly close. <laughs> I'd love to go to New Zealand one day, but it's so far on a plane. Shelly doesn't do far planes. I don't like planes. So she will never go to the other side of the world. Well, never say never. Unless they come up with a really cool drug that just <laughs> lets, no, puts I'm, you out. No. Um, dairy, I hate dairy. <laughs> where did your inspiration come to start YouTube? Um, and the second part of the question was, have you ever watched any other family vloggers? Yes. I was the one who started watching family vlogs. And then um, Chris watched, started watching Casey, and then he thought he wanted to start blogging because he thought it would be a cool way to just be creative, and um, he loves video editing and that kind of stuff. And then, because he saw some family vlogs, we thought we would enter into like the whole family vlogging because it was a really good way to capture memories. So even if you don't have any views or subscribers, you're still doing it because you are capturing really, really good family memories to look back on. And yes, yes we watch other family vloggers. Yeah, we currently watch... Sam and Nia together. That's Roman so... Atwood. He's a family vlogger now. Yeah, Roman, <laughs> Sam and Nia. We used to watch Casey. He's not a family vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next question is from Jesse Corb. You're sent into outer space. And oh. You can choose whatever planet you want to land on. What planet would you choose? Earth. <laughs> I don't know if I'm such a space person. Um, I think I just live on the moon. Really? Yeah, because then you could just see Earth and like... Space boots? You would be like, maybe there's like a transport that goes back and forth. <laughs> it's quiet up there probably. Um, next question from Lori Beth, 1993. Do you enjoy living... Did you enjoy oh, living... Oh, did you in enjoy US? living in the US? Would you move back? I did like it because we lived in the mountains of New York, which I love anything in nature, so I did love that part of, New of the U.S. we lived in, but I like Canada better, and I don't think I would move back to the States. I would move back to the States. Chris would, but I like Canada. Florida. I'm true to my country. Personally. Jenny Hartwick. Jenna. Oh, sorry. Jenna Hartwick asks, what is your favorite emoji? <laughs> we talk about this all the time. I love emojis. I'm more of an emoji person than Chris, Yeah. but I love hard eyes. I love this one. And recently, praise hands. <laughs> I like, I don't know which one I like specifically. The one that I use the most though is thumbs up just because I'm lazy. <clears throat> oh, and I use the heart, just like the regular old heart, like pretty much everything I text. <laughs> yeah. Brioni Markox? Markso? I can't tell. If you had a cow, what would you name it? <laughs> Daisy! Daisy. Daisy the cow. Cool. <laughs> uh, next question comes from... Shaz UK. 2003. What's your favorite movie and why? Oh, that's a hard one. That is a very hard one. Favorite movie like ever is... Actually, I do know the answer to this. No one will probably know this movie, but it's called Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. Oh my goodness. And it's about a girl who does horse jumping. If you've seen it, comment down below. It's a really good movie, and that's always been one of my favorite movies. My favorite movie growing up was probably The Goonies. Good one. Yeah. Same person asked Nike or Adidas. 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 All the way. Yeah. Okay, the next question is from Allie3475, and she asked, Do you have an ideal age you hope your children will wait to date? She asked a couple questions too. Um, Ben says no. <laughs> I think at least like, at least 16, at least, if not 17 or 18. But, I don't know. Probably a little older for Mia, because we're more, probably going to be more protective of her. I don't know. What do you think? Um, yeah. Mia, 35. <laughs> Carolyn, Gar Carolyn Garb. Garb asks, what's your favorite food? It's a hard one, but I think straight up popcorn. No. I love popcorn. Rubies too. Salty popcorn, not sweet popcorn. I think my favorite food probably is just pizza. Really? Like if I had to go do a go-to, like if I'm in the middle of a city somewhere and I don't know what to eat and there's pizza there, I'll eat it. Um, but I love burgers and <laughs> I love steak and yeah, steak I good. love like lots of food. Next question comes from Naomi Stive. Stive. Chris, how long have you been in ministry, 
and have you always been a worship pastor? Um, I've been in ministry for about 15 years full time and I have not always um, been a worship pastor. I worked at a camp for a while. Um, I worked at another church as the children's ministry person and worship person and creative person. <laughs> And I also work for an uh, international missions organization called Word of Life in Screen Lake, New York for two years in their international office. And then, yeah, I've been at uh, Harvest now for almost eight years as the worship person so and the youth guy. She asked, where did you go to school? Um, I went to two different colleges. I went to Summit Bible College, which was a one-year uh, Bible and Outdoor Pursuits um, program. And, uh, and then I also went to Tyndale College University in Toronto. I also went to Tyndale for a year and I also did correspondence courses through Humber College, which is just a local college to Toronto. And she asked, Shelly, what did you do before you became a mom? I was a kindergarten teacher what? slash preschool teacher, so um, early childhood education. Caroline Garb asked, would you plan on having more kids? We've answered this question before. We really, really hope to adopt one day and we hope that the Lord opens the doors for that one day. Naomi and Alan X. What is your favorite thing to do together as a family? Anything outside, so like hiking or anything to do with being outside is what I would say. That's where everyone's like the most happiest and we can be active and yeah, yeah. we're outdoor people. Next question comes from... Trisha McKinley. If you could be any age for one week, what age would you choose and why? <laughs> Good question. I think I would go back to being 21 and oh. first married because I don't really remember what it's like before we had kids <laughs> because we had kids very early on in our marriage so I think it'd be cool to just like go back to being 21 and see what I did when I was 21 like what did I do with all my time <laughs> yeah I'm gonna steal Shelly's answer I like that one <laughs> but I wasn't 21 but we also love 25 our kids. we love our kids yeah totally <laughs> next question comes from Trisha McKinley oh. Are you a night owl or a morning person? I, to be honest, I'm neither. <laughs> I don't stay up late and I don't like waking up early, but if I had to choose one, I could probably stay up late more than I'd enjoy waking up super early. I personally can do both. I tend to stay up more, I tend to stay up late usually rather than get up early, but I can get up early if I have to. Mm -hmm. No problem. Jenna Hartwick asks, what is your favorite electronic? I'm not really an electronics person, so I like this because I can text, go on Instagram, listen to music, watch YouTube. That's, yeah, that's my fave. What about yeah. you? I mean, probably my phone matched with my Apple Watch. Crystal K14 asks, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, I don't know. I'd fly. I'd like to be able to teleport places. Yeah. So like, just be like... Bing, yeah. I'm in India. Bing, I'm in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd like to fly. Then I could just hop out and fly out. Skip all the traffic. Go fly fast though. Teleporting is better than Yeah, it is, it is better, but I think it would do more damage to your body in the long run. It's safe, natural teleporting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Janae Gilbert asks, favorite winter memory? Um, just and, like doing like winter hikes with the kids and stuff and like tobogganing and that kind of stuff, skating, what about you? Yeah, I think some of my favorite winter memories were with my, like when I was in youth group, we would do a lot of things like tubing and hay rides and pond hockey and just different things like that that I really love to do and hope that we can do more of that. Favorite memory, same, same, um, Janae Gilbert asks another question, favorite memory of 2016? That's a hard one. I think for me, my, one of my favorite memories of 2016 was I loved our New York trip. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Like climbing the mountain on white face. It was a short little trip, but it was a good trip. Yeah, I mean, there's so many moments and we have them all captured because yeah. we've vlogged all year. <laughs> so I'd have to go back and watch, but. Yeah, there's so many moments. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's the, that's the questions. That's all the questions that we got on Instagram. Yeah. Thank you so much for asking them. So if you have any more questions, we're gonna do a couple more Q and A's this week. You can leave a comment down below. 
or shoot us another question on Instagram. We'll, we're going to create another post so that it's a fresh one and that we can just go from that one. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later. There's nothing in my mug. I'm just pretending.